Okay, so the fact that I have to make this video is pretty frustrating to me. But what's even worse are the actual contents within this, when you realize exactly what we're dealing with here. Some of you guys probably have no idea that this has even been happening, so I'm glad to be bringing it to light and make some of you guys aware of some silly drama. Previously, I said that the fan reception for Resident Evil 4 Remake was through the roof, to which it pretty much is. It by all means is not a perfect game, it does have some flaws for me, but still it's a solid 9 out of 10, maybe a 9.5 out of 10. Yesterday in my comments for the video about Resident Evil 4 Remake selling over 3 million units in just the first 2 days and celebrating its success and talking about the future, some people took that through the roof mention to heart and commented about some reviews that I didn't think needed to be elaborated on. But here we go. About two weeks ago, Metacritic reviews came out about Resident Evil 4 Remake, and the overall reception was solid all around the Metascore, which is mainly based on the industry reviews from major gaming outlets. The game scored pretty well. Now personally, for me, I don't care about reviews. I like to play the games that I'm interested in, and then judge it for myself. However, some people do put a lot of stock into these, which is perfectly fine if you do that, or if you care. And then there are the user review ratings, which are supposed to be the true voice of how the fans feel. Or so you would think that. People told me that the fan reception is actually the opposite, and people hate Resident Evil 4 Remake. And they are saying this in regards to my fan reception being through the roof claim. Then proceeds to talk about the user ratings from Metacritic, which doesn't really even require you to own or have played the game. <laughs> Anyone can leave a review and create multiple accounts to leave negative stuff. But for those who are not aware, there is a site called 4chan, where a lot of highly intellectual internet dwellers reside. Many of those users have been, unfortunately, review bombing the Metacritic score, driving the user rating as low as they possibly can get it. One example is revolving around Ada Wong. I personally am not a fan of RE4 Remake's Ada Wong myself. The voice actress, unfortunately, did not hit the mark for me. Did it ruin the game for me? Absolutely not. She's barely in it and her performance does not ruin the rest of the high moments in the game for me. However, some people are legit leaving 2s and 0s out of 10 reviews, calling Resident Evil 4 Remake a horrible, disaster game because the actress who plays Ada Wong is not as great as they want her to be. NPCs getting triggered about other current NPCs. Go figure. There are some reviews who elaborate their reasons for disliking the game pretty well, going into full details, which is pretty great. But then they leave a 0 out of 10 rating, and it's like really a 0 out of 10 because the game drags on too long. Mercenaries mode drops a week later and it didn't come with the game. They also have claims about the aiming being horrible, to which I say, if you really think that, then check out this guy Blitz. He has an aiming guide for Resident Evil 4 Remake, and it's pretty solid. Some users also outrageously say that they died 75 times on Standard Mode in Resident Evil 4 Remake, but in the original game they only died 35 times on Standard. Sounds like a skill issue. And weirdly enough, there's a complaint about there being too many puzzles. Who complains about that in a Resident Evil game? Wasn't that a major complaint in Resident Evil 3 Remake that there wasn't any puzzles? Or that many puzzles? And now you get this and you're complaining? Jeez. Other reviewers lack any efforts and are obvious trolls, while many other sexually frustrated individuals are giving the game low ratings because they cannot look at 3D rendered female underwear or jokes about ballistics are not present. To which they then say it should have been included because it's just harmless flirting. My guy, if you are telling me you're flirting with women IRL making jokes about their ballistics, this is making a lot of sense as to why you spend as much time as you do on the internet. If you've been loving the content on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Only 12% of you guys who watch and love the videos are currently subbed and is the best place to be. Hit that like button to share the weird news around and get this video to a thousand likes to get more people aware of this happening. And hopefully, maybe Metacritic and other outlets can put a stop to these fake reviews once and for all. The whole situation is stupid. It clearly is a targeted review bombing. I mean, look at Resident Evil 3 Remake's user scores. That game had many complaints from diehard fans out of 2,865 ratings, almost 3,000 ratings. And Resident Evil 3 Remake has a 6.6 .6 user score. Now take a look at Resident Evil 4 Remake sitting at a 7.1 user score with only 1,608 ratings. At this rate, RE4 Remake is going to hit the red by the time those numbers sync up, or shortly after this video is uploaded, who knows. And do you guys even agree that Resident Evil 4 Remake is possibly worse than Resident Evil 3 Remake? No really, seriously, be honest. I played RE3 Remake for the first time last week, 
I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. But hearing from veteran fans about the differences between the original game versus the remake, it sounds like it's not that great of a remake. And their experiences seem to be the total opposite. But my whole point is, these user ratings are clearly not legit. So please stop basing your interests off of it and leaving comments saying the game is not good and fans are angry at it. Here, Blitz, look at these reviews. Okay, some reviews have legit concerns, but the review bots from 4chan are ruining it. If you really care that much and you want to get decent reviews about your games, I don't know exactly where to send you for console, but if you're on PC, look at the Steam page reviews for games. In order to leave a review on Steam, you have had to at least play the game and paid for it. It will not allow you to leave a review unless it's in your library and you've played it. So people leaving reviews there have actually invested time and care about conveying an accurate message. But if you do know of a good place for console reviews and overall gaming reviews, please comment below to help others out. Like I said, I don't care for them, nor do I know of any. It's pretty sad to see that the user scores on Metacritic are no longer a safe place for others, but at least 4chan is tearing themselves up from within over it. Guys, don't believe the crazy drastic noise you might see over the internet. Many of those reviews even said that the next gen consoles can't run RE4 properly, which is a blatant lie. We've been playing it mainly on PlayStation 5 for our streams, and not once have we come across a game breaking bug, glitch, or frame dip. And the main concern I've heard on Xbox essentially comes down to the dead zone with the controllers. That's a big issue I definitely agree with, and I hope it's fixed sooner than later. It's pretty sad that I feel like I need to bring this up guys, but I hope with my community I can at least help clear any concerns people are having when it comes to the so-called reviews from absolutely legit users. Because there are some viewers who are still holding off on getting the game and are on the fence about it. If you're unsure, wait a few months for a sale and then get it guys. I don't know what else to tell you. Buy it used from GameStop. That is, if you still want to associate with GameStop after what they did to the RE4 Collector's Edition people. What do you guys think about all this? Comment below and let's get a discussion going. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More Resident Evil videos are on the way as well as other games and you do not want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.